Good morning. This is Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World. Um, made it through the night. My second night out here after this incredible snowstorm we had. It got pretty cold last night. Um, the cat's doing fine now too, so we're alright. Uh, I'm obviously wearing a sweater and not a heavy winter coat this time. Got the fire going. The, uh, the batteries held up pretty well, so uh, using the truck to charge the batteries was a good idea. It was 11.9 volts when I got up this morning. The sun is shining. Uh, it's supposed to be warm and probably all the snow is going to melt off today. But I need to get outside and work on those solar panels today because I need more power. This just is not going to work out without power. This wood stove requires power. It's A camper is too small to have a fireplace. Therefore this boiler system is perfect because normally you need 18 inches clearance between the fireplace and the nearest item. And uh, with a boiler it's only as hot. See I have my hand here. I actually can warm my hand on this. The boiler only gets as hot as your water which is great. So uh, you know this is the best setup so I just need electricity. I'll show you my my voltage settings here. Right now I have 12 volts. It went up a couple tenths. Um, the sun is not yet overhead. It's only about 8:30, 9 o'clock. I don't know if you probably can't focus on that. Let me redo the camera. All right, now it's focused. I have three quarters of a amp of power, and it's rising up. So I'll have just about 12 watts in a few minutes here, and the sun is still at an angle, so that's charging. Most most people claim you don't get any solar power until the sun is directly overhead, but that's charging. But it's not enough anymore, so I'll be working on that today. And uh, I have a bit of a mess. Right here used to be a bed. I'll show you the video. Later on I'll be uploading that video, but I ripped out this bed yesterday uh, in order to make a workbench over here so I can continue on with my experiments and electronics projects, which I'm sure some of you are going to love. Well, the sun is shining brightly. I've got 13.1 volts so far, and I'm ranging between 4 and 5 amps, uh, which isn't... Uh, a lot but it's definitely going to get me through this night a lot better than I've been in the last few days so my batteries tap off the sun should shine all day I'll be good